G'day folks, it is a lovely flat day up here on Lake Hume. It's not really Lake Hume, that's the, the sea. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Right folks, I'm here with my friend uh, Bruce McAvaney. <laughs> I'm here with my friend Scotty Turnbull. We're in Port Phillip Bay at Clifton Springs and I have got absolutely no idea what I'm doing. This is an NFI fishing trip. Scott's the guide, the leader, the head instructor and he's the one that's going to be held accountable if we don't catch any fish. <laughs> well, so what do we call that? That's a pilchard. That's a, that's a pilchard, is it? Yeah. I thought a pilchard was like a little round thing, like a scallop or something. It's actually like fish. It's oh, there you go. All right. So. Get like that, that's better. See how it's a lame flush, and then we'll get a nice half inch over the top. Wow, that's gonna, that's gonna, that's gonna go all right, is it? That is a Robbie fishing pilchard rig. On oh, no, what do you call this rig? It's dual sinker with a snelled sink, uh, snelled the hook, maybe. Uh, a double snelled torque, torque key special. <laughs> do I just drop it out or do I cast nah, it out? How about over there? Nearly took a seagull out. Did I? Is, did, is that the right way? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, hang on tight. Five kilogram snapper coming right up. Scott's going to give us a demonstration on the pilchard rig. Oh, I hope it works all right. Go all the way through in the first one. Yep. Pull it through the pilly. And then what you do is you bust down through the gill here. Yep. And make it come back out the gill. And so if it gets a bit soggy, You've got a bit of structure there. Ah. You pull it so nice and tight. And I like to have another hook out the other side. Yeah. Nice and high. So you've got a nice, you know, one section on both sides, but that's all right. You half hitch the top. And that there should sit beautifully. Wow. Look at that. It's got a real light sinker just sitting there. So the weight is actually there next to the pill trick. Yeah, that should be a bit tough. Should be a little less line there, but that's awesome. Okay. Squid strip. That's a squid strip. Yeah, it's a squid head we got the other day. Oh, you caught the squid? Yeah. We'll get some this afternoon. Oh, cool. Freshies. We'll get some. Didn't you just pin that through there like that? Yeah. And that's for a snapper? That's for a snapper. Oh, I've got no idea. Good. <laughs> I got no idea either. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that bloke's got a pretty fair idea. I think it's from the Russian Navy. Look at the size of that boat. I think it's got a cannon hanging out the back of it, hasn't it? Has Russia even got a navy? I saw, I saw that, I saw him. I was watching it, I thought it had a bit of a nibble when I was waiting for the drag, I thought I might be just bouncing. It's had a nibble on this one. I really did, I saw it. Exciting times. <laughs> I went boink. I'm gonna catch one of these buddies. Uh, something's had, something's had a, a play at it. Yeah. Oh, I missed him, Scott. Did you see me big bite? Sure. Okay. Missed him. That's a nibble. That's a nibble, something's nibbling about them, I reckon. There it goes. Definitely. Got him. Oh, I felt a bit of weight when I first struck then. I have got him. I have got him. If I have got something, Scott, it's bloody small. <laughs> hey! Look at that, folks. I've caught a fish. And what do you call that? It looks like one of those bloody... That's, is that a puffer fish? That most certainly is. You can't touch them once, can you? Nah. Nope. <laughs> looks like a Furby. You remember those Furbies that were a big... Kids' toy back in the noise. Those teeth, have you seen like, the teeth on them? Oh, look at the bottom teeth. They will bite your hook straight off, so we can... See you later, mate. Now, that's really unusual because they're normally found over reefs where you find a lot of whiting and stuff. Yeah. That's quite unusual. Oh, on the board. On the board, with a puffer fish. <laughs> <laughs> jellyfish come past, mate. Righto, folks, we're about two miles from the nearest bloody land. <laughs> we're about two miles from the nearest tree, and Scott's got a snag. Wow, go on. How does that even work? I don't know, it might be an old anchor or something. <laughs> That's crazy. A jellyfish. Well, Scott, I just looked at the weather. 20% chance of less than one millimetre, one millimetre of rain. 20% chance of less than one millimetre. And it's raining. <laughs> That's another bite on the calamari. These fish like the calamari as much as I do. 
So it's unusual to get a puffer fish out of here, is it? Yeah, we only reef fish, but we just got a snag, so... Well, I reefed it in. That was a reef fish, because I reefed it into the boat. <laughs> and you yeeted it back out into the water. <laughs> oh, got him. Oh, here we go, here we go. Whoa! Hey, a little pinky. What have I got, Scott? A pinky, you reckon? Got a little pinky with those head shakes. That's not a huge fish. Nah. I reckon it's about a 35 centimetre fish. It needs to be 27. Does it? Oh no, he's bigger than that. He's, he's 35. Oh, first salt fishing, that's a good one. That's on the board! Hey! <laughs> there we go, folks. I've just caught my first ever snapper. Can I hold it up for the camera? Is there, or you can hold it up. Is, is there anything I need to know? Is there any sharp bits? Or? There's a couple on the top, a couple on the gill rocks. You can hold him up for me, Scott, even though the light angle is really bad. So he's a legal size fish. He's most certainly a legal size fish. There you go, folks. He'll be close to a kilo. I caught my first ever snapper. I caught it on a bit of squid or calamari, and I caught it on one of Scott's rods. So those blue dots means it's coming from the ocean. Oh, okay. That, that's kind of the sign of pinkies, whereas when they get older, they sort of lose those. That's beautiful. So is that a pinky? What would you call that, a snapper that's or a pinky? That's on the cusp of a pinky. A big pinky going to a baby snapper. So a pinky is just a baby snapper. Spot on. There's not a different species, it's just a nickname for same, them. Same fish. Yep. So that's, a, that's some people might call that a little snapper and some would call it a big pinky. Yep. But that we're going to call dinner because that is perfect table size, I reckon. Sounds like a plan to me. Absolutely. Thank you, Guide Scott. Right, folks, Scott's just told me that the pinkies or the snapper have got to be 30, was it 20, 27. 27 centimetres and that one was 38, so we're well in. Just a little strip of calamari, a couple of beads and a little sinker. And what's that, about 15 pound line, Scott? 20 pound line? That's what you need to do to catch snapper. And I didn't know that until now, because I'm learning. Can I take my training wheels off now that I've caught more than you? Oh, you got pro wheels, I've got nothing <laughs> Got him. Well, I forgot about that bloody thing. I've got him. It's got... Am I filming? You are. Because I'm going to catch a little one. I'm going to drag up a bit more. That's... It's not a very big fish. I'm guessing he's probably a 30 centimetre pinky. Is my guess. We're not far wrong. Oh, I found a hook of him. <laughs> Is that undersized, that one? This one will be touch and go, 27. There we go, folks. Fish number two. Two, two, oh, the blood. My God, these things are haemophiliacs. One hook and, well, do we measure him on here, do we? Yeah, give him a measure. 20. 28. Yep. So what do you do, do you keep him or do you throw him back? If he's dubious and he's bleeding, you'll probably keep him. Yeah, yeah. He's certainly bleeding. My God! Folks, I'd like to tell you that I'm uh, a really good fisherman, but he was hooked in the side and he's got blue spots. And what that means is that he's come from the salt water. Is that right? In the ocean, the deep ocean. He's come from, well, we're in the salt water now, aren't we? He's come from the deep blue sea. Go on, if you want. You reckon he'll be right with the... Uh... Yep. Yep. I'm looking at, uh-oh. He's nice. swimming upside down. Okay, so we've let that one go because he wasn't hooked in the uh, the gills or anything stupid like that. He was just hooked in the side. It looked like a bloodbath, and provided he doesn't get eaten by jaws, we think he's going to be right. I can still see. Oh, and that's not him. That's my bait. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I had a little bit of a nibble, man. I said to Loretta the other day, I see how my neighbour died. And she said, who, Ray? I said, well, there's no need to cheer about it. <laughs> I don't know about you, Scott, but I'm planning on living until I'm 100. Why's that? I don't know, I just want to live till I'm old. But in the event that I don't make it, of what I would like, I don't want people to celebrate. I don't want people to get the, a big wake and have heaps of people. I don't want people to mourn. All I want is four or five of my best mates to come together and bring me back to life, so that I do make it. <laughs> right, folks, we've changed tactics. Scott's brought me to a squid spot. And this is a squid jig, and what do we do? We just cast it out, let it sink, and then just sort of bring it in and look, make it look like a prawn, is that right? Yeah, 
bait fish or something. All right, let's go. Squid head we got the other day. Oh, you caught the squid? Yeah. We'll get some this afternoon. 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 All right, change of scenery. We're going for whiting. Give a small sinker with a double patinosta rig and a little bit of squid for bait. Just getting a real small little nibble. What do you think that is, Scott? Could be whiting, could be wrass. What's a wrass? A little parrotfish, I think also known as. Very pretty, but hanging around reefs and things. I've got wrass on my front lawn. That's grass. I think the line just dropped real slack then. That's the boat going up and down there. I don't know what happens if I just pick it up. Put it on the whiting, like. Oh. You get a bite too, did you? So much so I thought you'd get me, even though I know you're down there. <laughs> Not enough to be happy with it, like. Whiting it. Like that. Oh, Scott's on! Yo. Scott's, Scott's got a big fish. There's a good oh, bend in the rod, Scott. Could well be whiting. Do, do you need a landing net or anything or? Oh, oh no, it's a Robbie fish. You got a Furby fish. <laughs> oh no. I think yours is bigger than mine. That's the biggest puffer for the day. That's not right, right? We'll call that a, we'll call that an asthma spray fish. It's a puffer. A puffer fish. Is that what it's called? Uh toadfish, puffer fish? Oh, there's a couple of varieties. Sorry, hold up for Oh, meant to. <laughs> meant to. But yeah, they do have a poison gland. I don't know if it's a spike. It's definitely a poison gland in them. That fish has got a face like a busted ass. You should see it. Exactly flicker. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're on the board, Scott. Hey, I'm not right home to mum about that one, though. I kid you not. I did, oh, I lost him. him. Can we stay a bit longer? Yeah. I just. I just picked this up, me and Scott were just about to move to another spot Just as I picked it up, I reckon I lifted it probably 6 inches off the bottom And then I hooked a fish, he actually grabbed it as I started reeling it in So we're never gonna, we're just about to move, now we're just gonna stay a few more minutes <laughs> I wonder what it was You don't see these on the Ovens River in Wangaratta? It's a bit like me, Scott. Uh, it's got a big horn. That's just so cool. There you go. Got him. No. I'm on, Scott. It's right. not very big. It's only a really small fish. <laughs> it's a very small fish. Hey, look, I got a flathead. You got a I reckon I haven't caught a flathead for 30 years. When I was a kid, I caught some. If I remember rightly, you can't hold the top of them because they're a bit sharp. Is that right? And the side petrol fins, you got a couple of doozies. The gill rakers? Yeah. You want to know how to grab them? <laughs> how, do you, how do you grab them? <laughs> I'll just grab them like that. Yeah, there you go, folks. I worked out how to grab it. That is. Have they got sharp teeth, Scott? No. So I can thumb him and be safe. Yep. That is what sort of flathead is it? A dusky flathead or dusky, yep. a little weeny dusky flathead? See you later, mate. <laughs> really? Is that nearly legal size? 27, 28. That would have been 25. Ah, well there you go. Have a look at how many boats there are out here. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, just in this little area. And Scott tells me that this is a quiet day. And at the other side of the bay, he's even busier. Wow. He's not too big. Scott's on. No fight in it. No fight. But we'll get on the fight pan. Oh, 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 look at that. Bloody. That's another flatty. Oh, touch. They're all, it's like they know what the size is. And they're always like one to two centimetres under. So what did you catch him on, Scott? Oh, Squid. 
clean this. Come here. Ah, oh, that's how you hold them. You put them under the gills. Yeah, I'll show you. There we go. Scott's just got a little flatty. So those there, they they sting like crazy. Oh, look at the venom. size of that! And the way you stop the sting is by rubbing on the belly if you get pricked. I've heard something about that. Yeah. Wow. Twenty six. What did I say? Yes. There's always a centimetre short. <laughs> a centimetre undersized, and he's gone back in the drink. Go get your brother. <laughs> I actually think he was bigger than mine. That's a nibble. Sure. Some nibble. I don't think I got him. If I did, I might have got him. I can't tell because the rod's so heavy. If there's a fish there, it's not fighting very well. <laughs> what have I got? You're kidding me. What is it? Can you touch it? I don't know what that is. It's a, like a Morton Bay bug. It's a crustacean of some kind. Are they poisonous? I've never seen one before. I have actually no idea what that is. <laughs> I've been fishing 20 years out here. I've never seen that. <laughs> right, folks. What is it? Does anybody know what that is? Or 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 something. It's like a some kind of a big crustacean. Wow. Well, if you know what that is, please leave a comment below and tell me and Scott because neither of us want to touch it. <laughs> it can't be too bad for our health, can it? <laughs> like a giant sandy abbey, we don't know what it is. <laughs> it's gone! <laughs> 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 Right now, I've just consulted a friend of mine that knows one or two things about fishing. I'm blocking his name out so that you can't see who he is. Who I asked, just caught this in Corio Bay. Do you know what it is? We are at Clifton Springs. And he said, Who let you down here? Ha ha, welcome to God's country, my friend. That's a mantis shrimp. Brutal animals with the fastest appendage on earth, I think. Supposed to be able to break the glass of fish tanks. Wow, I'm glad I handled that thing with care. Just got a fish just jumped there, a little, little one. What would possibly be jumping on the surface in 10 metres of water? Some sort of bait fish, a little white bait or something? It's on. Something with the fastest appendage? You've got to be joking, I wonder how long that's been sitting there. <laughs> Look at that, Scott's just, uh, we've just put our lines up to move somewhere and Scott's got a little flatted on the end of his. Always one centimetre too short, is one. Okay, that's flathead number three, is it? Hmm. Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, I was going to get getting a little bit of a tap on this rod here just then. Well, just only a real small bit, guys. There it goes. That might be a little flathead. I want anything. Got him. Ha! I don't know what I've got, but he's not very big. I reckon I've got another flathead. Oh, my other rod's getting a good bite too. It's all happening. What have I got? Oh, look at the size of him! That's legal. That's a legal one, you reckon? Yep, absolutely. Now you just said you didn't want flathead. I've got it on film. You said I don't want flathead, I want snapper. No. <laughs> well, I've got it on film, I heard you say it. I want flathead. I want flathead. I want flathead. I better throw it back. Come here. I'm not game enough to touch it. So you hold it, you got to lay him upside down, do I? I'll hang him by the side of the boat. Mate, you're a hell of a mess. Lay him up against the boat so you can see the white flesh and pin him in the gills. Oh, you like that? Yep. Pretty nice. There you go. There we go, folks. The biggest flathead of the day. You beauty. I am a saltwater professional. How do I get the hook out, Scott? Coercion. <laughs> do I just break his neck? Righto folks, fun quick look, 31 centimetres, I'm stoked. Getting a bite on this other rod at the moment. Just had a nibble on it, just, there it goes. Scott's on. What do you reckon it is? What's the call? Small pinky. Pinky? Has to be white rod going too, Rob. <laughs> Shit, I'm in the middle of sinking mine, because I had a bite and I missed it. Yeah, a little pinky. Oh no, it's a ling. A ling. A rock cod. The booger of the ocean. Not very good weed on it. No spikes on them. Scott's caught a ling. Didn't he play football for Geelong? <laughs> Was it Geelong he played for, Cameron Ling? He certainly did. I don't even follow the footy, I just remember the name. Oh, yeah. 
Hideous. Looks like a big booger, doesn't he? <laughs> a booger fish. Yeah. No scales, no spikes. Best thrown at the fellow angler. No! <laughs> a ling. It actually looks a lot like a freshwater blackfish. I mean, yeah, it did, didn't it? 10 times the size. Righto, oh, no, face. We've had an absolute blast. It's got to be disappointed that we didn't get any big snapper, but I couldn't care less because I've done something that I'm not used to doing and I've had a lot of fun. Thanks very much for watching.